a little sweet for my taste. In New York, we drink our lemonade straight up. No additives or sweeteners. Are you from New York City? Yep, Midtown. Wow, oh, my mom lived there. She was a photographer. Is she ever mentioned the Third Avenue Deli? Don't think so. My uncle owns it. Best pastrami you'll ever have. What's pastrami? It's meat that's dried, brined, seasoned, spiced, and smoked and steamed. It's the diamond of deli meats, really. Wow, that sounds complicated. It is. Uh, I have some really old pictures my mom took of New York from, like, the 80s. Do you want to see them? Yeah, sure. Just wait here. Where did you get this? <coughs> Damn it, Lonnie, that was my special stash. My face feels like a gigantic gummy bear. Now take a deep breath, relax, and say, I feel that, and let your thoughts flow. How is this supposed to help me with my mom? Could you guys excuse us for just a moment? Look at me, Joe. Exactly. You can't even look at me. And I'm guessing it's because of your girlfriend. And that's admirable, but I don't know anything about her because you spend all of your thoughts and words on your mother. Are you saying that I'm the problem? Hey gang, and welcome to Funimation Update. I trust your summer is going well and that it's not as hot where you are as it is for us here in Texas, which seems to have been transported to the surface of the frickin' sun. In this uh, show, we have this character, Gustav St. Germain, and as soon as I saw him, I thought, well, that's got to be Kent Williams. Yeah, you know. What was it about this character that just uh, that made Kent stand out for you in your in your brain? Um, well, he needed to sound intelligent mm -hmm. and have this kind of aristocratic sound, and it's something that I've kind of heard that I've heard Kent do before, and I know that Kent he really gets into characters, and he would enjoy something like that. Okay, so Bacchano, who are you playing in Bacchano? Gustav. Gustav, and what's his deal? I am the editor of a newspaper and uh, with a young assistant, and I'm basically setting up the entire story. My name is Ngozi Anyangu. That name is very African, and I am very African, and I come from a series of people who were raised with very, very little, and they taught me how to be a survivor. But I was also raised in Trent, New Jersey, and Bucks County, Pennsylvania, so they taught me how to fight, but how to be polite about it. So I come from a series of diplomatic fighters, which is very helpful, I think. Ha, ha, ha.